Hi YouTube, with the International Men's World Championship now going on in Finland and Latvia, I was wondering what would happen if they would have the same format as Stanley Cup playoffs. We have 16 teams, single knockouts, 3 minutes long periods, 5 minutes in overtime, 3 on 3 and then shootouts. We'll play on all-star difficulty, so let's see who can win this tournament. As you can see on the screen, we have two groups. Group A will have Austria, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Hungary, Sweden and United States. Where Group B will have Canada, Czechia, Kazakhstan, Latvia, Norway, Slovakia, Slovenia and Switzerland. We will have exact same order as we had on the pictures for Group A and Group B. So Austria plays Denmark, Finland plays France, Germany plays Hungary and Sweden plays USA. Where in Group B, Canada plays Czechia, Kazakhstan plays Latvia, Norway plays Slovakia and Slovenia plays Switzerland. Okay, let's start the tournament. In the first game, Denmark wins Austria 4-3. Okay, next game will be Hungary versus Germany. Oh my god, this is something I was not expecting. Hungary wins Germany, so Germany is out from the tournament with 50 shots. Whoever is a Hungary's goaltender, he needs a pay rise. Next game is Czechia versus Canada. Okay, this is not a surprise. Canada wins 4-3. I'm actually surprised that Czechia somehow get three goals into Canadian's net, but I bet it's NHL 23, so you never know what's gonna happen. Next game will be Slovakia versus Norway. Okay, Slovakia somehow managed to win Norway. Again, not a surprise. I believe Slovakia is a much better team. Happy to see them moving on. Okay, and the next game is France versus Finland. Okay, no surprises here. Finland wins with a three goal lead. France only have 14 shots in the net, when Finland had the 43. Actually, France's goaltender should be really good because he is end up making 40 saves, and I think that's very impressive. Next game, USA versus Sweden. This should be a good matchup. Okay, Team USA wins three goals. Sweden only managed to score one. 25 shots. Whoever is in the net in Sweden probably need to be replaced. 25 shots, three goals in. That's not a good performance. Okay, now the game I was waiting for. Latvia versus Kazakhstan. Okay, I will take that. Latvia wins 5-1. 42 shots. Kazakhstan only had 15 shots. To be honest, I'm surprised because Latvia never have so many shots into the op opponent's net, but the game knows better. Latvia moves on. Okay, and the next game is Switzerland versus Slovenia. Okay, I know this is a video game, but what the hell? Slovenia somehow pulls it off and wins 5-3 when they scored 5 goals with only 19 shots. I think Switzerland need some real help in the net. After the first round, so Finland will play Denmark when USA will play Hungary. Canada will play Latvia and Slovenia will play Slovakia. Next game, Denmark versus Finland. After the first period, Finland scored five goals. After the second period, Finland scored two more, so now it's seven and zero. Denmark ended up with only 10 shots, when Finland had 43 and actually scored 11 goals. Not surprised, but a little bit sad because I think Denmark could possibly score at least a goal. Okay, the next game is Hungary versus USA. After the first period, USA is leading with a three goal lead. Hungary only had one shot. After the second period, USA scores again, so now is 1 4. Hungary somehow managed to score one goal, and actually it's very impressed. So after two periods, USA is leading, but we still have a chance. Okay, USA wins Hungary, no surprises there. Obviously, USA is a better team than Hungary. Hungary only managed to do 12 shots on the net. When USA did 42, again, I think the goaltender for Hungary is quite good. Okay, and now the game I was waiting for. Latvia versus Canada. After the first period, the score is 2-2. Canada had 11 shots when Latvia have 2. Teddy Bluger and Ulvis Balinski scores for Latvia, when John Tavares and Claude Giroux scores for Team Canada. Okay, what a change. After the second period, Canada is leading 5-3. Latvia still have only 11 shots, which is very low. And the only score for Latvia was Balzers when for Canada, McDavid and McKinnon and McDavid again scored. Okay, Team Canada won 7 goals. Latvia only have 12 shots when Canada have 32. Merzlikins again proves that he's really bad in a net. Maybe we should use someone else instead of Merzlikins because 7 goals from 32 shots is a very bad performance. Okay, the next game is Slovakia against the Slovenia. After the first period, the score is 0-0. Slovakia only have 5 shots when Slovenia have 12. After the second period, Tatar managed to score, so now the score is 1-0 for Slovakia. Okay, 
Slovakia scored three goals, Slovenia didn't score any. Actually, Slovenia have more shots than Slovakia, but unfortunately, Halak was unstoppable. He saved every single shot, and we just have to accept that Slovakia was better. So Slovakia moves on. Okay, as already predicted, it will be Finland versus USA and Canada versus Slovakia. Okay, next game, USA versus Finland. Oh my god, USA absolutely demolished Finland. They dominated 34 shots, 4 goals, and Finland only, only had 29 and didn't score anything. Okay, and the next one is Slovakia versus Canada. Okay, this is actually very surprising. Slovakia scored 2 goals on 17 shots when Canada scored 3 goals on 35 shots. So Canada and USA in a final. Not a surprise. Happens almost every single year. Again, the teams in the game are much better, like overall wise. So USA and Canada in a final. So who is taking home the gold? After the first period, USA scored two goals, had 14 shots. Phil Kessel and Johnny Goudreau scored for Team USA. Second period, no one scored. USA had 23 shots when Canada have 17. Oh my god, USA scored another three goals. Patrick Kane have two and Phil Kessel have one. Canada couldn't stop USA, couldn't score anything. And USA is taking home the gold. So, actually a fun tournament to play. Uh, nice to see international teams. Surprised that USA won. My money was on Canada. Personally, I thought the team is much better in a game. So, again... I will do this more often let me know if you like this kind of simulations in tournaments because i want to do that with a lot of other leagues and maybe different rules and different formats so let me know down in the comment section what do you think and if you would also like this kind of format in an international tournaments i hope you enjoyed and have a good one see you on the ice